Defensive Simulation, Lecture 20, Part 1, Transient Dynamics, Mode Superposition Problem. In the mode superposition problem, you need to run a model analysis followed by a transient dynamics problem. So we enter Ansys Mechanical. We will accept the default material to be structured steel. So for the first step, the geometry, we build a 3D model in soluble simulation, in solubles. And then for the second step, we take the default material to be structured steel. So inside Ansys Mechan Mechanical Interface, we will make sure that the first step and the second step are performed properly. So first of all, we will make sure that this is the geometry connected to the material. And for the third step, we will generate a mesh. And I'll accept the mesh, although it is a little bit rough. And we will run for the step four. The step four would be defining the constraints. And there's no need to define loads in the model analysis. But we need to define the number of frequencies to calculate. We'll make it 15. And we'll solve for the first part, which is the natural frequencies and vibration modes for the structure. So the first part solution will be the 15 natural frequencies. And these are the 15 natural frequencies. And we can generate the vibrational modes and evaluates all the modes and we can visualize the displacement and undulation of the structure. So I'll delete these results here. And then for the second part of the problem we need to define the load because the the constraint is defined on the first part, which is the model analysis. So in the transient dynamics problem, we need to define force. And first of all, we need to define the surface of the load, the direction of the load. The magnitude will be the number, the magnitude number multiplied by a time curve. The time curve will be given by table. And at a time zero, the force is 10 newtons. And at a time point zero 0.05, the force is 10 newtons. And the time at 0 0.06, the force dropped to zero. So we can see from this table that uh, we have a time curve for the loading. So this is the time curve for the load. So there are four parts where the force can be defined in the transient dynamics problem. The first is the surface of the load. The second is the direction of the load. And then the magnitude and the time curve of the load. And finally, we have to define the time step. The total time will be one minute. So we will uh, turn off the auto time step and choose sub step and we will use 200 sub-steps to calculate the whole vibrational process. And then the result will be the total deformation and volumes stress. So we'll calculate for the uh, solution. And you can see that the result will be an undulating structure 
and this is the amplitude of the vibration and you can see that without friction the amplitude remains the same throughout the time history but if we define a friction to the structure for example the damping ratio to be 0 0.05 and then we calculate again and since the damping ratio would be the friction so that the damping amplitude decrease so we can see that there's a steady decrease in the amplitude of vibration with the damping ratio of 0 0.05 so the result is a decrease steady decrease of uh, the damping the vibrational amplitude so this is the true scale and we'll see that the vibration the structure undulate and the amplitude decreases with time. So this is the uh, first part of lecture 20, the mode superposition method of transient dynamics problem.